Well, as we head into the end of the year, it's time to start thinking about our taxes and how to save as much as we can. First News Weekend anchor Abby Schrader spoke with a local financial expert on ways to make smart money moves before the end of the year. Now, the most important thing on your to-do list this time of year may not actually have to do with shopping and holiday parties, but it actually probably has to do with your fa family's financial situation. So joining me now from Cottonwood Associates, I have Ryan Nisbet with us. He's going to talk about what you need to know to help with your taxes for next year. So good morning. Glad to have you here with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome. So uh, the deadline for taxes is coming up soon. So what are some of the things that people should be thinking about now when it comes to tax time? Well, to take advantage of some of the tax breaks you can get before the end of the year, it's important to act now with all the holiday festivities going on this month can it kind of be a whirlwind mm -hmm. so think about these things now in order to be able to enjoy spending time with your family and friends mm -hmm. so there's quite a few things we have five tips that can help you get through the holiday season okay. the first would be charitable donations so but before December 31st you can make any charitable donations cash clothes whatever that may be and you can use that to reduce your tax bill mm -hmm. so don't disregard anything you have we always tell clients whether it's clothes cash any other valuable items that you have donated make sure you get those in before the end of the month and if you don't have any cash or anything that you want to donate mm -hmm. you can always volunteer the holidays are a great time to show kids grandkids that giving back is important and even though you can't deduct those expenses or the hours directly mm -hmm. any expenses that are incurred due to that it, direct volunteering experience you can deduct those but always make sure you get a receipt that's the key absolutely and then what about your retirement contributions so uh, at this time of the month, year it's important that you can contribute to your ira 401k and those do have specific contribution limits, so it's important to talk to um, an expert and see what those contribution limits are. Mm -hmm. But they can reduce your income bill at the end of the year, and that will save you some money in taxes. And also your FSA account. Yes. So each year, you can donate up to $2,550 into your FSA account. And it's important to find out whether you have to spend that before the end of the year or if they will grant you a grace period. So talk to your employer, see what your plans are, and use that accordingly because you don't want to let that go to waste. Mm -hmm. And home tax breaks too are a big thing. Yes, there's a ton of different home tax breaks you can take advantage of. We have a list of those on our website, cottonwoodassoc.com. And remember, if you make your mortgage payment for January in December, you can deduct the interest from that. And the same goes for property taxes as well. Okay, and then there's also the college costs too. Yes, and I know spring semester's bill isn't due until January, but it might be worthwhile for you to take advantage of that and pay that off before the end of the year. You can set yourself up to qualify for the $2,500 eligible student exempt uh, tax on that. Mm -hmm. So, and also according to the American Equal Opportun or Opportunity Credit, mm -hmm. you can deduct four years of undergraduate fees, tuitions, and other costs, and also, so you can take advantage of that for 2016, mm -hmm. and also the first three months of 2017. Okay, now if we take all these steps now, what does that mean for our tax refund check next year? Well, hopefully that will increase the refund that you get on that. And the important thing is to think about what you want to do with that refund now, mm -hmm. because once you get it, you might be inclined to go out and spend it on yourself, which is okay if you mm -hmm. choose to do so. But we recommend that maybe you contribute more of that towards your retirement, set yourself up for the future, and you'll thank yourself later. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. And we'll, of course, have all this information on our website, wkbn.com. We'll be right back.